pay attention. I'm Sergeant Major Mr. Donald Trump. And today I'm here accompanied by Corporal Mr. Chocolate Chip Ice Cream, Joe Biden, also known as Cracky Addy, and Mr. Barack Obama, also known as the Obama Minator. What the? Bro, who do you and think And today, you... today is a very special day because we were invaded. The terrorists took over some places in our country due to the lack of leadership the current president can show. So we were called and recruited to save and serve America. Um, Trump? You told me to come here because they were about to reveal the most massive nuclear bomb Americans ever created and the new set of drones our army acquired, not because we're about to go and fight Taliban's for a piece of land that probably doesn't even have oil on it. Do I hear somebody crying in the back? Anyways, all of you punks today are going to come with us so we show these idiots on whose land they stepped. For now, we have a couple of rules to set. If I say something, you must obey. If Capitol Joe Biden says something, you must do the opposite thing. And if Obama says something, you don't listen to him. Understood? Sir, sir yes, sir. sir. Okay, Donald, where are the cameras? Is this a prank? What is this shit? Why do we have to be the ones that are going in the war zone? Can't we just send somebody else to do it so we can play some Minecraft? Soldiers, I want everybody to pull out their guns and prepare. We're about to go. And you, Joe, just please shut up before I make you my human shield against those terrorists. You. Here, with your goofy-ass goggles, you are going to be the one in charge of our air support. So prepare the fighter jets and your pilots, because we're most likely going to need your guys' help. Yes, sir. Air support is going to be ready to deploy on your call at the coordinates you will send. Currently, we have about five to six fighter jets ready and a bomber to send these fools back to their motherland. That's what I like to hear, all right, then. It sounds like we are all ready to deploy. Come on, let's get in the car and drive into what is set to become a war zone. I didn't even tell Michelle I'm about to go fight some terrorists. And what is even the reason they attacked us? What did you do Biden this time to piss them off? I thought we had peace and it was simple. We get oil and they get breathable air. They're making me turn into my old self. So I guess we're in Afghanistan right now. What are we doing in the desert, bro? Oh my, I'll never trust you from now on, Donald. You always lie to us and get our asses in the most questionable places on Earth. I should have got a massage now while I was eating ice cream, but I guess instead of that, I'm about to fire bullets at people that I don't even know what harm they caused. You're the reason this shit started in the first place, Joe. You're letting anybody to cross our border like our country is a neutral ground or something. What is wrong with you? If you kept those borders closed, we wouldn't have had to fight for our nation right now. Yo, guys, did you see that plane? Let's follow it and see where it lands. It seems like crossing the border by foot isn't the only way they got inside our country. Heads up. I see enemies ahead. It seems like on the far left, there are some masked individuals holding some type of weapon in their hands. I can't tell what type of weapon is, but I don't think they have good intentions. Let's seek some cover and ambush them afterwards. Damn, I see them. And there are a lot of them not going to lie. So use your bullets with caution. We don't want to run out of them mid-fight. Let's pull over here and get behind the car. When all of us get a good sight on them, we start shooting. Wow, 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 wow. Hold on, Surgeon. Like that? If that's the plan, I'm better off running toward them with a white flag to surrender. How do you want to face all of them when we're outnumbered by maybe 100? Shit, it looks more like 300. Nah, I say that we return to the base. Trump, I don't know how to tell you, but two of them pricks saw us and they are approaching. Quick, come up with a plan before we get pulverized. The plan is to shoot. Ah! Alrighty, everyone, it seems like plan A failed. So we're switching to plan B, which is going full auto on them. Show no mercy. Man, I haven't taken a plan B in years. My wife used to tell me to take one of those every time I was tripping out. I never understood why or what was the science behind that pill, but shit, she knows better I'm not complaining. What are you even saying? And watch out, Obama. Oh my, I almost sent your eight ball head to the other side. Stop crossing in front of my weapons while I fire them, idiots. The last thing we want to do right now is to shoot each other. And Joe, if you don't focus on killing the terrorists, I'll make you take 100 Plan Bs. Only 100? Bro, that shit light I used to... Ah, is that a grenade? Oops. Hey, run! Ah! Oh, no. What the... What is wrong with you, Donald? Did you try to kill us? I can't hear shit now and my ears are ringing. Thank you for throwing a grenade at our feet. It wasn't necessary. Y'all act like some bitches. Look here. I'm going in the middle of the fire and I'm taking bullets like they are shot from a Nerf gun. This is how a real man looks like. Not a bitch like you guys scared by grenades and plan Bs. All right, maybe I need to chill out before this suit gets destroyed and I start digesting bullets. Mr. Sergeant Donald Trump, I'm sorry that I'm interrupting, but it seems like we are widely outnumbered and we are in emergency need for air support. Could you call our Air Force Department to send some planes at the coordinates minus one, two, three, two, three, four, six, nine, or 420? And I thought we could have handled it on our own, but it seems that I went to war with a bunch of little girls. Fine. 
This is Sergeant Major Donald Trump requesting immediate air support. I repeat, this is Sergeant Major Donald Trump requesting immediate air support. We are outnumbered. Eagle One, roger that. We already departed and we are on our way to your GPS location. We're about to engage on the target with air-to-surface missiles. Take cover. Oh, wow. Look at those beautiful missiles getting fired. And yes, bombs, woo-hoo. This is why I love America, man. Show them who has the power. That was truly beautiful Trump. Can you call them one more time? What the, what was that whack shit? It didn't help with anything. I can still see the terrorists standing and firing bullets at us. Nah, that ain't it, bro. How can you miss the target like that? Tell them to spin back and do it right. Biden, I will really use you as a human shield if you don't shut up. Or maybe I will call them back, but this time with you being the target. How does that sound? Hey, Donnie, chill out, okay? You I piece of shit. I don't know if you even fired one bullet in their direction and you're sitting here complaining like a bitch. This is our country and is our duty to save it. Um, actually, our duty is to steal as much as we can from our people, but whatever, if you say so. Carpet bomb deployed. I repeat, carpet bomb deployed. Seek cover immediately. These idiots are about to witness American greatness. Yes, this is what I want to see. Woo! So can we all agree that was awesome? Come on, bro, stop being like that and be more energetic and joyful. Be more energetic and joyful? Not only did Trump throw a grenade at my feet a couple of minutes ago, that made me hear 8D sounds like I just got done doing a sniffing marathon with Hunter. But now a bomb landed close enough to me that it gave me flashbacks back to when my wife force fed me Plan Bs and you want me to be joyful. Oh shit, uh, boys, we might, we might have a problem. I don't, I don't think this car works anymore. We need a backup one. Ah, uh, crap, let me call the base to see what I can get us. Yup, come on. I haven't used one of these bad boys in a long time. Let's see who's brave enough to shoot at us now. I'm gonna gun down his entire crew without even overheating this bitch. I just received a signal on the map that another group of terrorists is heading somewhere on the highway. Let's see what's up with them and clean them too if they don't want to surrender. Can't you just drive us back to the White House so we can have a nice gaming session? I think we've done enough for our country for today. We'll all have a chocolate chip ice cream so we can, wait, am I tripping or, oh nah, do they, do they have RPGs? Who gave these guys RPGs and set them free on a highway? What is happening in our country? Ah, take this you scums. Those are real RPGs, bro. Look how they try to hit us with them. This is insane. I don't know what feelings I have right now. Happiness because I'm seeing multiple bombs exploding simultaneously or fear because they can hit our asses with one and I'm done since I'm uncovered at this machine gun. Just help me out to kill them ASAP. They are starting to shoot rockets at civilians. Fast, bro. Shoot them before this shit turns into something way worse than it is. Donald, watch out. Everything is calculated, Obama. I can see those rockets coming in slow motion. Look what you did, Biden. It's all your fault. If your ass kept those borders closed, we wouldn't have had to deal with this bullshit. And obviously, if you didn't sell our military and donated it, we could have stayed home and let our soldiers free our country. But guess what? We don't have any soldiers anymore, and we had to take their place. Yeah, OK. As always, the blame is on me because I wanted to help the people to enter the best country in the world without a passport. And because of that, we have terrorists now, right? Obama, are you still staying at that machine gun? As I was saying, I'm not sitting at that machine gun anymore. Y'all can have that spot. And can somebody tell me where we're going now? It's already getting dark outside. And I told Michelle I'll be back home at 8. Don't make me miss my bedtime, guys. Mr. Donald Trump, I'm sorry to say, but I never heard a bitch cry more than your partner Obama right here. Like, can he ever stop complaining? What did you just say about me, you degenerate piece of shit? Yo, yo, yo. Everybody chill out. Let's keep it cool between us. No need to fight each other over small shit. Right now, we're heading to some neighborhood that apparently is full of terrorists that are breaking into houses. And one of my good friends, Michael, that told me this is happening is living there, so we need to hurry before they try to get in his house too. Well, how about you press that gas pedal a little harder and drive there faster? I'm so tired, I feel like I can fall asleep anywhere. Don't be surprised if I catch a nap in the middle of a crossfire. Just drag me to the side and give me a pillow if that happens. I'ma drag you to the side and give you two right hooks and an uppercut to wake you up, but not gonna lie. I'm kinda tired too, so this might be the last intervention we'll make for today. We'll see where we find a place we all can catch a nap after we're done with these fools. If we are going to save your friend Michael from getting robbed and killed, it would be kind enough from his side to let us spend the night at his house. If not from heroes, we're going to turn into supervillains. And then we will be the one breaking his front door. And I don't think he wants that to happen. No, we will not break anybody's door. We're here, so be on the lookout, he said. They're now in a, oh, here you are, guys. Why don't you all meet the hood of this Hummer and tell me how it tastes? All right, it seems like we arrived at the right place. Let's get out and feed them some bullets. They might be hungry from running all day. Couldn't you have called an airstrike here remotely so we didn't have to show up? Ah, uh, 
My eyes are closing. Come on, Joe, don't go to sleep now. Just keep on shooting them, and then you'll get some rest. And how would that have worked in your head, idiot? If I called for an airstrike here, I would have bombed the whole neighborhood and became the supervillain, like Obama said. Yeah, and it seems like we finished them. Joe, Joe, I said we're done. You, you can put your gun down. We're not done. I can still see them, but they're running. Biden, those are the civilians running for their life. Put that stupid gun down before I put you in a chokehold. All right, all right, damn, stop being so aggressive. I'm wondering if they're running because they saw us with rifles in our hands or because they thought Trump was gonna ask them to vote for him. Well, either one of those, that bitch took too long to flee the scene now. Let's see where we can go ahead and call it a day so we can go to sleep. This house seems to be the perfect place to me. And it's empty since everybody ran off. No wonder people are running off when they see you getting out of the car with a weapon. 10 times convicted felon with an accumulated 34 life sentences walking around with an AR in his hand at night. Shit, I would run too. You would run too, huh? Then let's see how fast you can run if I throw one of these at you again. Come on, Joe, show your talent. Come on, bro, not again.